I think a big part of the secret to their success is the way the customers have always been treated. A big part of it is a, a strong board of directors, uh, uh, employees that care about the bank, as we can attest on how many uh, they, they work and live in Hartford. I'd say a lot of their customer service and their help. Now mm -hmm. I also, besides banking here, I've been to the Slinger office and mm -hmm. like I said, the girls yes. are all wonderful there too. I've right. gotten to know them and. We were in the parade and we had horse-drawn wagons and we had old type clothes and you know, it was uh, employee things that you did together that kind of bonded everybody. And it, we're still doing it. Rich, they're, uh, Richfield, they're going to be in the parade for Richfield days. Obviously, I believe a part, our longevity gives us accountability as well as it gives us um, uh, credibility as well. Being around for 110 years is not an easy task. There's obviously been ups or downs. I think it shows the community that we can withstand the down times as well as prosper in the good times. We're here for the long haul. We've been here for the long haul. Um, I think that's been part of our success, just having the confidence of the community knowing that we're going to be here. I think it's good management. I think they have good management. You know, I just think on a day-to-day -day basis, um, our, our staff is genuinely interested in doing the right thing for our customers and and it could be small things but those small things all add up to big things and, and I think it begins with all of our staff members here and our board of directors and I believe that we have really consciously tried throughout our history to this day to, to have that integrity to, to assure our, our customers that we're working in their best interest not here to take advantage of them we're here to help them reach their financial goals. Well, I think the dedication to serve customers, and uh, that starts from the top down. You know, through the years, community banks had the opportunity to sell out the major banks, and at sometimes some nice profits. Our stockholders and board of directors were very unselfish. They could have sold out and taken some profits, but they said, no, we don't want to go that route. We want to stay independent. And that was a big commitment and on all parts, all the way down to employees.